you could say boom the gasser, then crash it into boss's head liver, and then he's banished. So I did ask Ahmed Best way back when at Rebel Scum Con year one. Like, what does this mean? Boom the gasser, crash into boss's head liver, and then banished? And George goes like this. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Hello there Star Wars fans and welcome back to another rebelscum.com video review. This is one I've been wanting to get to as a part of the 25th anniversary of The Phantom Menace. Even Jazzwares is hitting it hard with some really cool releases like the Gungan Bungo here. I love this thing. First off, it's in the box right now and here it is in the packaging. There's that awesome sticker. There's Jar Jar and Obi-Wan. It's this close. This close to being perfect. This close, Jazzwares. Um, right there. And what I mean by that is there, we only ever see three characters ride in this thing in The Phantom Menace or at any other point in Star Wars. Three. These are two of those three. Can you guess who the third is? You took too long. It's Qui-Gon Jinn. And at first, I have been really frazzled by that for a while until... The Sith Infiltrator got announced and released, and stay tuned for that review because we will be reviewing that too. With Darth Maul, Bloodfin, again, so the Scout Bloodfin got reissued, and Qui-Gon Jinn. So for those of you wondering where your Qui-Gon Jinn is to go in your bungo here, it's with that release. Now, yes, that's a little frustrating because it's one out of three that they didn't include. But at the same time, Jazzwares has said it many times, they're vehicle first. They treat the vehicle as the feature character, not so much the characters as the feature characters to go into the vehicle, which is why we have, you know, one or two characters here and there missing from these vehicle assortments that you find in, you know, scout releases or other vehicle releases down the line. All of that aside, whether you like it or you're irritated by it, this is a very awesome release. And... Again, it's still in the packaging, but I dare say this is the best Bungo toy ever produced, in my opinion. I really love this thing a lot. They got so much of it right, and I can't wait to get into it. So, again, there they are right there. Micro Galaxy Squadron. You can put on the little tail turbine piece there on the back. This one is a Target exclusive. On the side, you've got some really nice artwork of the bungo there. you got the headlights coming right there. You've got the glow from the turbines there, some bubbles and stuff trailing behind it, some really cool underwater cliffs. On the back, you've got a hologram image of the bongo, the card that you can cut out, and some feature things from it like being able to open the little side compartments or the main cockpit compartment or the turbine spinning, or the fact that you can move it around on the ball jointed stand, which is also very cool. On this side, uh, you've got a partial open window, seeing the kind of front-ish left side of the bungo. And that's pretty much it for the packaging. Okay, assembling this is super easy. Two steps, you take this piece right here, you take this piece right here, you just line it up, you push it into place, you'll hear a nice loud click, and the turbine's set and in place. And then down here is a wheel. If you spin that wheel, or gear rather, I guess is a more appropriate term, it will spin those turbines on the back. And looking at those turbines, look at those. I love how flowy they look. You've got this pair of longer ones and you have this pair of shorter ones, each run parallel to each other. Nice translucent glow on the bulb down here on the bottom. Nice clear windows on the cockpit. Fun fact, these are actually just the same energy shield technology that is used on the outside of Odagunga, as well as the same shield technology they used in the Battle of Naboo. Some lights right here on the side, nice pattern work, and it's not just painted on there, there's actual layers and textures to this. 
little anchor front piece right there. Nice yellow paint where the glow is supposed to emit from this inner part. You can open these cross sections. And I like how you have this little bit that just hangs over. And of course you can open the main section. Now each seat is there just as in the movie. So there's Jar Jar seat, Obi-Wan seat, and Qui-Gon seat, as well as the spare seats, which I believe in the film um, were mostly just used for cargo storage. And honorable mention, I don't have one on hand at the moment, unfortunately, mostly just because I don't really collect that scale, but the Phantom Menace 3 3 quarter scale release of the Opie Fish that came out with the diving Qui-Gon figure actually would look really great side by side with this piece right here. I don't think it's 100% in scale, but it is really, really close for those of you looking for a cool piece to pair off with this one. And of course, you also get the cool little flight stand so we can display it. It is in a tr nice translucent blue plastic here. Just take that, it's on a ball joint. You just push that in, you'll hear a click. And then you can display your Gungan sub swimming through the oceans of Naboo in various angles. And here's that little mini bubble card back release of Jar Jar and Obi-Wan Kenobi. That Jar Jar in particular looks really awesome and not bad detail on Obi-Wan either. I really like that you've got his lightsaber hilt on his belt. I also like that you can tell that it's not a clear repack or repaint of Obi-Wan's released earlier in the line. There's a good closer look at the Jar Jar there. Pretty good detail like I said. like how you have one ear folded on over the other. Arms can go up and down. Legs can go forward and back just like your average micro galaxy articulation. Next we've got Obi-Wan here. And same deal, good detail on this guy, decent paint job on the robes. Looks like you even kind of have his Padawan braid molded there just below his ear. At least it looks like it's molded there to me. It doesn't look like both sides are quite the same, which I really like. And again, another good look at that lightsaber hilt right there. Putting them in their positions inside the bongo here. Let's just take our Obi-Wan. I like to start with raising those hands up and they stay there and you take him and you push him in a slightly seated position and then just push him into place slide him under that little lap bar right there bring his hands down because now he cares and then move on over to the other side because like i said jar jar sits on that side do the same thing bring his hands up and they stay there bend his legs slightly get them under that lap bar, get them fully seated, and then bring his hands down because he also cares until he sees a big scary sea monster and then he'll probably bring them back up again and, you know, panic. Close that up and there is Jar Jar and Obi-Wan in the bongo. And when that Sith Infiltrator review drops, we'll see Qui-Gon in there too. You know, on the way over to this part of the review, they passed a singing crab and I gotta say, Jar Jar ain't been the same since. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's review featuring the new Micro Galaxy Squadron Bongo from The Phantom Menace. What do you think of these awesome 25th anniversary pieces for The Phantom Menace that have been coming out throughout the various Star Wars licensed brands? What are some of your favorite 25th anniversary Phantom Menace pieces? Let us know in the comments down below. The 25th anniversary isn't done yet, so make sure you stay tuned, like and subscribe, follow us on social media, and check rebelscum.com daily for all of your Star Wars toy news, reviews, and more, because as new 25th anniversary pieces get revealed, you know we'll be covering it. And surprisingly, we're still getting new announcements, and the year is almost over. So, stay tuned, because who knows what's going to come next. And make sure you go check out CoolToyReview.com, our sister website where we cover all kinds of awesome non-Star Wars toy news and more. If you're looking for a really fun and exciting event, well, you missed Ahmed Best at year one of Rebel Scum Con, but stay tuned for year two as it is coming up soon. Check out Rebel Scum Conventions with an S dot com so you can see who and what you missed at year one, but also see updates and announcements for year two, as well as pick up some awesome and exciting Rebel ScumCon exclusive merch.
And of course, don't forget to sign up for a free account on collectorsoracle.com today where you can manage and track all kinds of cool toys and collectibles in your collection as well as wantless items you'd like to have in your collection in the near future. Hopefully this is the year we'll get to add Micro Galaxy Squadron to the list, but who knows? Stay tuned because we are adding all kinds of new toy lines and brands in the near future. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Be careful traveling through the planet core. And may the force be with all of you, you rebel scum.